Hello and welcome again to Simple Crypto Consulting, where we simplify and secure the crypto sphere. I am Daniel Pace. So today we're going to be talking about Proton and Exodus and Brave and all the other software that comes with your Calyx laptop. We're going to be discussing how to get those things all set up or how to use them. And I am going to show you step by step while I do it for this brand new laptop. If you haven't watched any other videos, go ahead and click up in the top corner here and I will link the previous video that we did on the Kalex laptop, which includes unboxing and the initial setup. So let's go ahead and start talking about the software on the Kalex laptop. Here we are at the desktop of the new crypto only laptop. We are going to be looking at ProtonMail to start with. And we're going to set up an account there. It's going to automatically open up in the Brave browser. But this is going to give you the option to set up a secure encrypted email address that you can use with the crypto only laptop. So we can do a free account, select free plan. So choose your username that can be probably whatever you want. You're going to put in your password two times. If you uh, lose your password, you will not be able to re re read your emails. You can do a, a recovery email address. So if you get locked out or forget your password, you can do that. Okay. You have the option of saving your passwords. I'm going to do that. You don't have to do that, though. This says, are you human? To fight spam, please verify that you are human. So let's just, you could do either one of these. They can send you an email or a text message or something like that. Let's just click on this complete setup. So this is going to generate an account, create all this stuff. And then once it's done, you're going to get a little pop up up here. So this is wanting to know if you want to receive notifications from your email. You can click allow or you can click block. There shouldn't be any security risk with allowing this uh, to, to be able to notif notify you because you know where this is coming from. You don't always want to allow. You want to make sure you know exactly what it is that you're allowing to show notifications on your desktop or your browser. So. Now you have an encrypted email address. Below are some optional settings that you can use to customize your account. So you can change your display name so that if you want to change this to something that's not uh, identifiable, you can do that so that if you don't really want your name to appear there or your email address, you can do that. Um, so there you go. So this is what it looks like. All right, so here you go. You're, you have encrypted email address. Welcome. This is a short tutorial to show you how uh, this is a short tutorial that will show you the main features of Proton Mail. OK, so you can read it here. Check the welcome emails as well. Also, if you want to see this tutorial again, you can access it by clicking the username in the right hand corner. Next tip, you can personalize your layout over here. So if you want it to be like this, or you can change it to look like this. All right. Now, you can also manage your emails with folders, labels. So you can create new labels. You can create new folders. All right. If you ever need help, you can visit the support page. If you find a bug, you can click over here on report a bug and finish. OK. So there you go. You have it set up. Over here is the compose button where you will write a new email address, write a new email. Here, this is where you can write an email. Okay. And drafts, sent, starred. So you can do all this kind of stuff. You get 500 megabytes of storage, not a ton, but emails don't take up a ton of storage. So these are the emails that I just received for signing up. And so you can see this is going to tell you about all sorts of cool things. So apparently you can get a uh, free VPN with these guys. This email is talking about how to secure your ProtonMail account. 
enabling two-factor authentication is a good one. Password safety. Make sure you remember your password. Make sure you write it down somewhere safe. And now you have another welcome email. So that's how you set up Proton. It's a simple and secure email solution. All right, next we're gonna talk about Exodus. I have talked about Exodus before, but we're gonna go through it again really quick, just so everybody's on the same page. Calyx has likely already put an Exodus wallet link on the desktop. So you click on that and it'll take you here, exodus.com. You click on download and you have two different types, desktop and mobile. Well, obviously we're on a desktop right now and we're in Windows. So we're gonna download for Windows. We'll put it in this folder right here. It says downloads, downloads. Okay, click save and it's gonna download. So once that's done downloading, you should see this down here at the bottom of your bar, at the, the bottom of your screen. You just click on that and that'll start running the Exodus wallet. Should start to install it. And you'll see that progress here. Exodus has been installed. Okay, so now you need to go to your desktop. Now you can do that by minimizing the screen or if you have a bunch of screens open, you can just click this little button down here. Now, not this button. This is the notification button. Right to your right, directly to the right of the notification button is a little tiny strip. Click that button and it'll go immediately to your desktop. Okay, so don't get confused. This is the button. This is the shortcut that came with the laptop. This goes to the website, Exodus. This is the shortcut that goes to the actual wallet. So once you download the wallet, you could remove this shortcut so you don't get confused. Let's go ahead and open up the Exodus wallet and see what that looks like. We're gonna double click on it. Now, here we go. This is a brand new Exodus wallet. So if you already have an Exodus wallet, you're gonna need to import that, restore that from a backup, okay? Now, this is the wallet. Like I said, this is the link to the website. So we can right click on this, go down here and delete. So now you don't have that on there anymore. If you have this on your bar down at the bottom, that also goes to the exodus.com website. All right, we don't need that there anymore because we've already installed it. So we'll unpin from the taskbar by right clicking on it and clicking unpin from taskbar, okay? So that's how you set up your Exodus wallet. And the next thing would be to go to Coinbase. So we double click on Coinbase. If you don't have a Coinbase account, go ahead and go check out the video that you see linked in the top right corner. But if you do have a, an account, you're gonna click on sign in. And here you go, you'll just put in your email and your password and sign in. It's that simple. Now, the next thing we're gonna talk about is the Brave browser. So you can see that that's what I'm using right now. That's this. All right, this is what it looks like when you open it up. Now, you can import your bookmarks from Google if that's what you've used before, but you don't have to do that. Now, Brave is gonna reward you in the Brave, atten the basic attention token or BAT rewards for using it. And when you see ads and such like that, you'll get tiny amounts of BAT. In the certain websites are also set up so that you can uh, award your favorite contact content creators in BAT as well. Yeah, so essentially Brave will reward you for your attention. And you can see your rewards over here. When you've done anything that uh, will gain you a BAT token, you'll see that here. And if you want to, you can check out your rewards settings. This is gonna tell you how everything works. Now, if you want to be able to uh, withdraw your coins, you'll have to set up an uphold account. So, verifying the wallet allows you to manage your funds. Now, if you've already set up an uphold account, you can go ahead and log in. Once you get 15 bat, 
if you're you're new, you'll have to have at least 15 bat in order to create an uphold account. So we're gonna click cancel. The Brave browser works similar to pretty much any other browser. When you click over here, you have new tab, new window tab. Something that, that you can do with Brave that you can't do with Google is the new private window with Tor. Now this is sort of like a VPN. Tor, the connectivity, your IP address, it's all hidden from the sites that you visit. Um, so it works with DuckDuckGo, which is a private search engine, Tor connectivity, and things like that. So if you need some more privacy, you can use Tor. Now we can go over here and exit private with Tor. So that's just a brief introduction to the Brave browser. If you want a more detailed walkthrough on the Brave browser, uh, you can leave a comment below indicating that that's what you would like. So the last program we're going to talk about today is Coin Tracking Tax Reporting, Cointracking.info. We're going to go ahead and go in here to log in, register, okay, and sign up for free. We'll put in a username, password, and then we can put in our new Proton email that we made. Okay, username, we can put in the email that we had just made from Proton, and we can sign up now. All right, welcome to Coin Tracking. This is the sign up spade. This is the new, this is the next page. Hello, welcome to Coin Tracking. Select your main currency and your time zone. You can choose to subscribe to the newsletter. Now, you can add or import your transactions now. So the registration is done. Now you're going to go here and this is going to track all your coins for tax purposes. So your trade and portfolio analysis is only one step away. Now you can click on new to manually enter in a transaction. If you don't want to do that, then come over here and look for the exchange that you typically use. So here we go, Coinbase, that's a pretty common one. Click on the API. Now this is gonna tell you how it works. You log into your Coinbase account and it reads the API. The API is only gonna give you read permission, as you can see here. So it's not gonna be looking at everything else or doesn't have like access to your data or anything like that. So you can do that. You're gonna to have to go into your Coinbase account, create new API key, and go through all that. Or you can do a CSV import. So when you don't, you go do, so anyway, I'm not gonna go through all of that right now, but if you do want a more detailed breakdown on what you need to do to use coin tracking, I can do that in a future video. But coin tracking will keep track of all of your transactions and it'll let you know what your portfolio value is and all of that kind of stuff. And it'll calculate your taxes. So you can do a tax report when it comes time to do that. So it's a cool little feature. If you need more help figuring out how to use it, just go ahead and leave a comment below indicating that you want a detailed breakdown of coin tracking in its own video. So, there we go. I know that might have been a lot to go through, but that should be everything that you need to go ahead and get started using this as a crypto-only laptop. I want to reiterate, it is a crypto-only laptop. The only thing that you should really be using this laptop for is for your interactions with cryptocurrency. So, we went over getting on the Brave browser, your Exodus wallet, Coinbase, and coin tracking for your taxes. That should be a lot. That's a lot of stuff to get set up. It's going to take a little bit of time, especially if you need to create new accounts for all these different things. So be patient. Go ahead and give it some time. Watch this video through a couple times. And if you have any specific questions about any of the specific software, go ahead and leave a comment down below. And I will do a single video for each one of the programs to go in depth and explain it step by step if you have any issues. Thank you for watching. Again, I'm Daniel Pace with Simple Crypto Consulting where we simplify and secure the crypto sphere. Thanks for watching.